Good morning, everybody. We are on the road. It's travel day. We are leaving the St. Petersburg Clearwater area, heading to Orlando. Travel day. Getting out while the getting's good. So far, so good. So here we are rolling into Winter Garden, Florida, which is just outside of Orlando. Our RV park is up here on the right and conveniently located next to one of my favorite restaurants, Four Rivers Barbecue. Some of the best barbecue in Orlando. But I'm trying to behave, so maybe we won't even go there. <laughs> Okay, so we have arrived safely here in Winter Garden and are temporarily parked in my spot here. It's only 30 amps, but uh, it should be fine because there's just hasn't been a real hasn't been a lot of really hot weather or anything. It's been very tolerable, but um, I'm just going to do what I call a light hookup. We're just going to plug in power, and I'm not going to level, put the slides out or anything like that because they have a propane service between two and four. So I'm going to shoot over there and get some propane in about an hour and a half. Wow, major mistake I just discovered. Uh, when I went back to unhook the Lieutenant M Dolly. You know, when I was hooking this up in St. Pete, uh, some people came up and started chatting me up while I was loading the Dolly. And uh, kind of got me distracted, so I forgot to do something that I normally would not have forgotten to do. I have a screwdriver in there now, but I drove off and did not put the pin in that retains this down in a flat position so that the ramps are, have plenty of ground clearance. So at some point be, <laughs> during the trip, these probably scraped the ground, the roadway, a few times as the elevation changes or the grade changed. The car was still nicely and safely strapped in, but these were down at an angle because that pin was not in. Fortunately for me, right over there, I remember there being a Harbor Freight, so I jogged over there, and what do you know, for four bucks, they got another one. So, we're gonna throw that in there and we're good to go. Stood there and checked the hookup twice, but didn't look at the pin to make sure it was in place. And I have a checklist. So it's lunchtime. I'm gonna wait till I can get some propane. Meanwhile, I'm gonna have a salad. chicken breast, a little bit of cheese. I'm gonna add my own, a little bit more of my own balsamic vinegar, it's a little bit of olive oil. Okay, 
So we got propane. Propane gauge in here was reading a quarter full. Propane gauge on the tank read half a half full. The guy, the meter on the tank, <laughs> on their propane tank didn't work. But he was guessing he pumped about four gallons into it. I don't care. <laughs> he's been doing, I know the guy, he's been here a number of years. He, he probably has a very good idea about how much propane he pumped into my tank. And it's not that expensive anyway. Four gallons was sixteen fifty. Do the math. Um, he did say, you know, even though my gauge shows quarter on the tank below, but it shows it shows half on the tank below, and it shows a quarter here. Well, there's lines in between that there's gas in could offset that. I don't think it would offset it that much, honestly. But there's just a differentiation in the inaccuracy. So, hey, we got propane. I mean, I didn't, I didn't even know how much this was a gallon. That's how often I, uh, three three eighty nine a gallon. That's how often I get propane. I mean, it doesn't power my refrigerator or anything like that. It just, I cook with it and sometimes use it for the hot water heater. Uh, so it lasts all year for me, which is great. You know? mm -hmm. On my way into Orlando, actually, went to park to uh, get my knee surgery done. And it got hit by a big storm in Cocoa Beach just before I left. Almost ripped the awning off. I got it back inside just in time. There's a few others scattered around here, so it's going to be an interesting drive. Okay, running a little ahead of schedule, so we're going to pop in here and meet a buddy of mine for lunch. These are um, Madden, Steve Madden. Right here, this man right here. It is. Right here. It is. Brother from another mother. Hey man. Huh? Yeah. Been a while. Yeah. Pretty tough. Buy a house in Orlando. Buy a house in Orlando. Wants me to. Wants me to stop being and traveling. Stop traveling. Well, once you've been doing it for the last what, seven, eight years. <laughs> well, it was a really great time having some lunch there with my my buddy Norris. He and I have uh, chewed the same dirt together in many situations with our careers and military, and uh, I guess we 30 years now. So it's great to get caught up. <laughs> He's really happy. He's uh, newlywed and. It's nice to see him so happy, you know, taking care of himself. It's awesome. So we finished up, and now the plan is I have my pre-op at 2 p.m. Still got a little time to waste, so I'm going to drive around and check out the old town. My old stomping grounds here. Uh, drive by my old house, see how that's holding up. And then I'll head over for my pre-op at 2 and I'm going to touch base with my Airbnb house that I'm going to rent for a couple of days so I can ice my knee and hang out. house here I planted all these oak trees and I built that pergola courtyard I made all that they pulled out all my other landscaping yeah they painted it different colors
Okay, well the pre-op went really well. I have a book of information to read here, do's and don'ts, what to expect, and exercises I'll be doing and all that. Um, I'm staying at that Airbnb, which is only like two blocks away from the surgery center. So that worked out great. And the, uh, the couple that operate that little Airbnb are gonna drop me off at 7 a.m. for my surgery, knock that out. They're gonna pick me up, take me back to their place that I rented and I'll stay another night there. Should be able to drive back home Friday. Should be able to. That's the plan anyway. And if, I can, if I'm just not able to operate yet, then I'll have to stay, I'll have to call one of my friends and stay somewhere else for hopefully not through the whole weekend. Anyway, looks encouraging. Uh, I think it's gonna go really well. These uh, people here, Dr. Constans, is who I'll be using here at Jewett Orthopedic, and he has quite quite the repertoire. Uh, was Doctor of the Year and, and the top uh, the top 25, and also he, he does a lot of work on the uh, athletes, and he himself is an athlete, but he does a lot of work on the Magic Orlando Magic players and and. Uh, other athletes so he's got a ton of experience to bring to the table so I feel good I feel confident I think everything's gonna go well the main thing is recovery fast so I can I want to I gotta get back to, to jogging and hiking and all the fun stuff that I like to do so looking forward to it So do you notice that? Sprung back into the RV, very cat-like, with my repaired torn meniscus. If you follow me on Facebook and Instagram, thank you so much for your kind words of encouragement and support and the knowledge base that I've been receiving from you and my friends and family. Uh, in regard to, uh, it's amazing how many people have done this similar procedure. Uh, it uh, went really well. This is the knee joint here, and this is the torn meniscus in between, and this is after the repair there, all nice and cleaned up. Went really well, and as planned. Uh, iced it the next day, all day, stayed off of it, and drove home Friday as planned. So it's been healing super fast since then. Uh, last night I went for a nice little light walk jog. Not too much, too soon. But you can see here, uh, all that's left, right here, a couple scars. This is from me crashing to the, into the baby gate at my son's house. But uh, this is all that's left of the scars. Well, that's a wrap. It was nice having you along for this video. Thanks for following along and continue to follow me in between videos. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Click over here to subscribe for more therapy. Also, be sure to click the bell button. It should be there if you're already subscribed. Apparently, that's the thing that YouTube wants everybody to do now to show that the person that you're watching or the video channel that you're watching here is worth hope. So click that bell button, subscribe for more. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Bobby Jean and this is more knee therapy.